Yo, what's up guys, Jeans or Diggers. Coming at you with another unboxing vid from the same person. I got the rest of Helen's stuff, basically almost all of it. There are still some things here, but as you can see, I mean, I really came out with a lot more stuff. A lot of them aren't bottles, they're different things, but a lot of hand-blown stuff. That's hand-blown, that's hand-blown. There's a couple more hand-blown things, more hand-blown things in there. Uh, that's just a vase that's worth like a couple hundred or a hundred dollars, they said. So, let's start it off with this. Andrew really, really likes big bottles. So, Andrew, when you're watching this vid, let me get the thunder fur off my camera. When you're watching this vid, Andrew, as I was telling you about this bottle, man, this thing is no joke. This is like 18 inches or something. As you can see, the pontil on the bottom where they pulled it off. This is a big hand-blown olive color giant bottle. You can see the top on that. It does have a... No, actually, this doesn't have anything wrong with it other than, like, maybe, like, that. But I think that's... Yeah, that's a part of the hand-blown. So this has nothing wrong with it at all. Very big... I'm very happy with this. I've been... I wanted to get this for a while. But yeah, starting it off with that. Starting it off big. <laughs> we gotta start it off big. Second, uh, also let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. What are the price ranges for stuff like that? I've seen a couple of them. I kind of know what the price range is. Um, second off, let's start it off with this thing. This is the top to this. This thing is really cool looking. I don't think this is too old. I mean, it's definitely not new. It has some dust on it, it looks like. But let's pick it up, pull it up, show you guys. This thing's very cool. I don't think this is hand blown. I'm not even going to try to get to the bottom of it. But Ooh, this thing's heavy. Don't want to drop that. That's the next thing. It's number two of the unboxing. Really not unboxing that, we're just going to be unwrapping, but that's the box of stuff. So, this one has a tag on it. Pontilled. Um, don't really know what it says. Something day, case glass. 185 is what they were trying to sell it for. What Helen, seen that it was worth. This is hand blown as well. As you can see, the pontilled chip at the bottom where they broke it off the glass. Very cool. Uh, set it down gently here. Also went out digging today with the guy who sold me this stuff. We did find some bottles. I have them in there. I'll show those in another video coming up. It might even be out by the time I post this. I'm debating on. I got a couple of videos actually that are going to be coming out. All right, let's take this out. Oh, let's also bring the box over. Put my camera down. All right, slowly undo this here. This thing is really, really cool. And I believe that she did find this. Yeah, she did find this. She found this in the ground. You can still see the dirt on it. This is amazing. Folded edge rim pink. Uh, I think that's white. Uh, I can't can't read the rest of the scribble <laughs> but here's the bottom plate of it yeah you could really see where the dirt's still on that so this was dug out the ground man if she dug that out the ground i know she dug that out the ground so and all these bottles were dug out the ground i think this will everything here i think but that but that might have been i'm not sure but this is the next thing that we have here going this almost kind of matches that. A little bit different color in the reds. That's number three of everything that we got here. Uh, 
let's pull out this one right here. Actually, we'll get to this. Or no, we'll get to this one because this isn't taped off. I don't want to undo the tape and everything. This ended up getting broke. I guess whenever she found it, it was broke. I think this is called crinkle glass. This thing is very, very cool. I guess there was an attachment from here to down here. You can see where it broke. Very cool. You can see the hand blown where they chipped it off. Another very cool piece. So that's number four. I'll get back to you guys real quick. All right, let's unroll this one. This is number five of the things that I have wrapped up. This is the stopper for this thing. Let me put this over here in the light. Very cool. Different kind of stopper. I need more light in my room. I don't know why I don't have that much light in my room, but there's that. And the bottle itself is right here. Look at that. That's a really cool bottle. Only thing wrong is there's a chip right there, but I think that's okay with this. This one just says blue purple. Uh, something lead. Put the stopper in there real quick. Check that out. That ain't no joke. I really like that thing. Uh, take this off of there. Ooh, all right. There's number five. Look how tall that thing is. I think it's almost like 18. It's probably like 16 inches right there on that one. Well, okay, put the bubble wrap over there. Get this one out next. I just taped the top of it. I had to tape all this stuff and put it in. He also gave me a backpack to bring it home in, so I got a backpack out of this as well. Thanks to him for being so generous and nice to me. But he knows me as a kid, so he's... You know, he's very giving towards me. He gives me good deals. He doesn't ever make me pay too much on things. But whenever I bought those bottles, I did have to pay a little bit, but not too bad to pull that out. I still got a good deal. I mean, I still make money, but I'm not going to sell any of this stuff. This is what I told him. But check this one out. Check all the seed, the, the bubbles in this all through this. This is also, I think, hand blown. I'm not sure. Um, it has seams coming up the side. Uh, I think this is a flash crack. Or, yeah, it looks like this was glued back on. The top was glued back on to this. That's what I'm seeing right now. But show that in the light. Look at all them seeds on that thing. Bubbles. Very cool bottle. Look at the top on that. I think it was hand blown a little bit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think or know about anything like this. Put that one up there. And now let's get to everything that I'm very excited to look at. That's everything right there, but very excited to look at all this. So put this over there. The stuff in the box. What is in the box? Get back to you real quick. All right. So we're going to start it off with a hand-blown cobalt blue. Very cool. Just wait till you see this. Dug out the ground. Cobalt hand-blown. Look at that pontil where it got chipped off. Did it over in the light. I'll put it right down here. I guess I got good lighting down there. Got some dust on it. Looks like whatever was on top might have got chipped off, but you can see the way it was hand blown. As you can see, it definitely is. I mean, the ponto on the bottom shows it, but it's not perfect anywhere. Very cool. Really, really like this. Has both things on the side. It's in almost excellent condition. So that's another one to the collection. Started off, okay, well, we're gonna go to this. We're not even starting it off. We already started it off. So this is what um, they used to, I guess, put pills on and sort through pills. This is a 
property of Emerson Drug Co. Then on the bottom there it says, uh, can't really make that out. But it's cobalt blue, almost like a purple when it goes to the light, but in my camera it's showing it's blue. But this is very cool, it's almost like a plaque it looks like. At first I thought it was a plaque. I'm trying to read what it says on the bottom. Uh, Baltimore, so it's a Baltimore. Very cool, thick glass, very heavy. One of my favorite things out of everything was this. So put that over there. And I think out of all the digger channels, I'm yet to see anybody come up with any stuff like this. And this was all dug, except I think that thing right there. So this lady, I really give her respect for what she found because she really came up with some insane stuff. And for me to just have it now in the collection, I had to pay for it, but it's, it doesn't really matter. This is very, very cool. It has that uh, tulip top is what Andrew calls them. It does have a seam coming up all the way there. But the seam ends at the lip, it looks like. So, I think this is 1800s. I'm not positive. Uh, it says... SG348. I know stuff that's marked with, um, with numbers usually means it's in a catalog. So this might be something that's pretty expensive. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Let me know in the comments of anything you can give me information on of the stuff that I'm unboxing here. This is another hand-blown thing. You can see where it got chipped off at the bottom on the pond tail. I don't know what that is. I don't even want to know. But look at how cold that is coming up the top. It's almost like a drip. Very cool. I don't really know what this is. It's just another piece of glass. It's not like a bottle or anything. I, I know that's a bottle. Like we got three three bottles over there and I, I guess it's a bottle. I mean, it's obviously not a bottle. So we got four bottles over there. I don't know if that's one. All right, we're coming to the end of the box here and the end of the video, but um, hope you guys like this unboxing so far. I'm really happy with all this stuff. This one's all round on the bottom here. It comes up to the top. Don't think this is too old. It's seamed together all the way, but I think it is hand blown together. Uh, it is pretty old, I'm thinking. I'm not thinking this is anything newer. But there's that one. All right. Coming out with this little Pittsburgh bottle that I really liked while I was up there. So this says, come on camera focus. I know you got it in you to focus. Old St. Patrick's Church, Pittsburgh. On the back, it says that has a cross on it as well. And it says, okay, so it's, Lord's water, huh? I got a Lord's water bottle. That is cool. I didn't even read the back of that, but very cool bottle here. Uh, no chips, nothing in it. This is perfect. Very cool. This is a really good one to my collection of uh, Pittsburgh bottles. Next up, we got this. This is another hand blown. I'm, uh, yeah, this is hand blown because you can see where it got chipped off at the bottom here. Very cool, different looking vase. Look at the top on that thing. That's something you don't see every day. Huh. And to pull this out of the ground, man, this is very cool. Let me know in the comments what you think of this thing. I don't know what it is. that right there and last but not least saving the best for last 
even though it's probably not the most expensive, but I'm yet to have one of these, yet to dig one of these. The bitters bottle. Antwoods. John Dice Bitters. Moses Antwood, Georgetown, Mass. Massachusetts. Very cool. I'm yet to get a bitters bottle. This one's a, a newer one. This one isn't the one with the, um, the hand-blown pontal on the back. And then it has the regular top. It doesn't have a flared out cork top. But ended off with this. Hope you guys like this uh, unboxing video of the rest of this stuff. I really think this is some really cool stuff that I got here. I'm very happy with it. Going to be really cool. I don't know where to put any of it. <laughs> so I'll be figuring that out. You'll see it through my room. You'll see it without the videos. You'll see a lot of changes I make through everything. But hope you guys like this video. It's been Ninja Diggers. It's been Jesse. It's been the unboxing video number two of Helen stuff.